Good morning or good now whenever you're tuning into this video. Welcome to our brand new week and of course our angel healing look ahead reading and energy boost. Just going to check we are live. So coming to you live on Facebook but later on YouTube and IGTV. Welcome, welcome. If this is the first time tuning in to the week ahead, um, ascension, energy report and look ahead and energy boost. We do it all here in round about half an hour or power half hour. Then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Callista and I am an angel teacher and the founder of the Angel Healing Hands on Modality and uh, the author of the original, The Female Archangels that came out last year and now the hardback color version is available yay um, so do check that out and we are joined by the female angels this week they are really going to dominate our week friends and i'm happy to say it's going to be a very fun free flowing go with the flow is a big message this week high vibe space we're going to be creating after the equinox, after the supermoon. <laughs> oh, that was a big one, wasn't it? We're now getting a little bit of a reprieve this week. So you can relax and chill. Look for the fun. Look for the joy. And if you've never connected with Archaea Joy, let me show you a picture of her. She's a lesser known angel. She is the divine feminine complement of Archangel Viragio. Viragiel helps people to connect with their guardian angels um, and to celebrate uniqueness. He's just out there, so much fun. And Archaea Joy, <coughs> excuse me, this is her. Isn't she great? Just effervescent, fun, bubbly, guides us to prioritize play and pleasure. Hands up if you do that already. Do you? I do now. I never used to. I used to all be, be about the doing and the busyness of life, but now I make sure that I prioritize play and pleasure every day to get the balance. It's so important. So let's take a moment just before inviting in this beautiful angel to come in and speak. Let's just take a moment to settle. Close in your eyes. Let's place our hands on our hearts. Taking a deep cleansing breath in. And a cleansing breath out. Creating that pause from what you've just been doing if you've been really busy. Using our breath as a bridge to a place that is more still, more tuned in and tapped in to creation, to source and to all the wisdom of the angels. And we ask for the most joyful, on purpose, fun messages to come forward to support our week ahead and at near, well, round about near the end of the video, I'd like to ask Archaea Joy to create a space of angelic resonance so we can bathe in her frequencies and really embody joy, be a vessel of joy, a template of joy for those around us. So that joy becomes this ripple like a pond, like a pebble in the pond that just continues to bring blessings and expand out and out and out. And so it is. Please take a moment to ask your guardian angels to be here with you. And if you don't know who your guardian angels are, then we ask Archaea Joy and her twin Archangel Baragiel 
to make that connection now. As we invite your guardian angels to come into your experience. In a way that is perfect for you. And just open up to knowing, feeling, sensing, imagining your beautiful angels right by your side. And I say angels because often we have more than just one guardian angel. Take in a deep breath in to invite them ever closer. Breathing out. Open your eyes. It's going to be a really fun video and fun week ahead friends if it's been you've had lots of things coming up in your life recently then you can just relax this week and if you still feel like you can't relax then it's an invitation to relax to prioritize time for you time for fun time for joy okay now i've got sense a new deck from my good friend Diana Cooper, her Archangel deck. And I love that the colours, look at the colours on the back, are purple and gold. And so I thought, I'm going to have a look through this deck. And I'm so chuffed, if Diana's watching this, I'm so chuffed that she's picked, um, she's chosen to put in the female angels into her deck. Yes, yes, yes. This didn't happen you know when the female angels began to come forward um they came forward around about 2007 into my experience and there was nobody talking about the female archangels it was all angels were portrayed in the masculine form even though they have no gender they were portrayed as such because gods were portrayed in the masculine aspect and it wasn't until around about 2011 they began to come into the angel healing hands-on system. And from there, I've started to see not referenced, unfortunately, she's not referenced the Archaea in the deck, but that's okay. Um, but nevertheless, she talks about, um, for example, uh, this angel, Mallory, this is our, our first, she's depict Mallory as female, which is good. It is a start. It is a start to bringing in the balance. So well done, Diana, for doing that. Really appreciate that. And I can tell you some updates before we get into the reading. Um, the card deck with the female archangels that you've been waiting for so long um, that me and Mary Jo started oh, nearly four or five years ago now is fairly at completion and um, ready to get sent off to the publisher. Very, very excited about that. And I was up writing last night. And another two more updates, friends, before we get into the reading. Angel Congress, I've been asked to speak at the 15th International Angel Congress, one of the biggest angel speaking events uh, worldwide it's normally held in hamburg but this time it's going to be online which means anybody can join we can join in the comfort of our own home i don't have to travel i can just be sitting here <laughs> connecting with you and i've got a brand new workshop called unleash your light and it's going to be kick-ass friends i cannot wait i know a lot of you have signed up already and if you want to know more information just head over to angelcongress.com info and it's april 10th and 11th a whole weekend diana's going to be speaking my good friend tim wilde kyle gray stuart pierce got some incredible speakers so come and join us last update the next level one angel healing class if you want to be attuned to the female archangels this is what i'm i hate the word famous but this is what i'm known for is attunements connecting people energetically to these wonderful beings so it's not just something that you learn you're not learning about the angels through a book or through through a card deck you're literally embodying you're blending your consciousness and becoming one and i've got the permission from the angels to do that we go to a very specific place in heaven that is created 
and prepared for the angelic attunements. And as part of angel healing level one, you receive 34 angelic attunements. So you do feel better. You, yeah, your life will change after the course. And the next um, level one is going to be May 1st. And I never really think about the dates. And then after I put it in the calendar, I realized that May 1st is Beltane. It's Beltane. So the fire festival, that's, it's going to be big. So I hope you can come and join me. Let me know in the comments if you want the links for that um, or just head over to my website, closetoascension.com. Okay, so now let's get into our reading. The one thing I do really love about these cards, these Archangel cards are new ones by Diana Cooper. They're very bright. <laughs> They're very bright. No coincidence we pull Arche Archangel Aurora because she was telling me She's not over lighting this whole week, but she's definitely in the flow on Monday, Tuesday. So Archangel Aurora, or her her more recognized name in heaven, is Archaea Grace. Archaea Grace. She is the twin of Archangel Uriel, and together she teaches us about, or reminds us, sometimes we just need the reminder, that everything happened in divine timing. There is an order to everything. So if you've been manifesting like crazy and whatever you want to come into your life isn't here yet, chill, relax. It is coming. Everything will, there's a divine order. There's a divine weave. It is magic. It is the essence of magic. Everything comes at the right time. Um, not when we want, but always when we need, which is a bit frustrating sometimes. But she has this beautiful color of golds, and reds and yellows and um yeah i love working with archaea grace here and um she says in this card let the sun shine into your life isn't that beautiful let the sun shine into your life coming into the midweek i've never heard of this archangel before never connected with her but i love the sentiment and it is archangel lavender and what she's she's focusing more as our Kia joy really comes in is the birds the sense of freedom and letting go because what's on the other side of letting go and this card is talking about letting go and releasing unforgiveness what is what are you holding on to that's that you've not resolved who have you not forgiven that you're holding a grudge you're holding that density within on the other side of releasing and letting go is the fun, is the lightness, that is the invitation this week to prioritize. So perhaps focusing midweek, are you holding on? Are you holding on to a sense of unforgiveness for yourself, others, a situation, something that happened in the past? There's a lot more weight and a lot more damage and destruction and holding on to these things than compared to letting them go. You're not letting people off the hook. You're letting yourself off the hook, off the emotional hook. <sighs> Doesn't it feel good to do that? Just to let go and bring in the light. Birds are a big theme this week, friends. Look out for the birds. If you're outside for a walk, slow down. Listen to the birds. Let yourself be bathed by their music. Have you ever found yourself just doing that and you feel so good afterwards? They have this resonance, uh, the bird's song. And yeah, some, some bird songs are actually quite seductive because they're mating songs and we don't, we don't know that. But of course, if you start to tune in, you can start to feel, okay, what are they, what are they actually singing about? But the majority of the time, birds are heralding good news, positive news, information from source. They're bringing it down and they're bringing it in to our physical plane. So take time to listen to the bird song, be bathed in it, feel your vibration rise. It's so good for you. It really is. And the birds will appreciate it. Oh my God, there's a human that's actually listening to us that's taking the time. Um, yeah, birds birds absolutely love when we recognize them. And lastly, coming into the end of our week, 
we have love this angel again never connected with this particular one um i think diana feels that this is a female so it could be archaea jewels archangel jewels but there's a sense of the ocean she's holding a shell and it says align with the highest go with the flow again that message to go with the flow to not be stuck stuck in density stuck in uh, a sense of holding a grudge just let it go invite in fun invite in play so important this week and to help anchor this in because it's so easy to say isn't it to help anchor this in let us go into that space of angelic resonance with our overlighting angel of the week archaea joy and if you want to know more about her um come and sign up for angel healing we talk about her and you are also attuned to her which is awesome so this angelic resonance may take the form of a meditation but really we're starting that process of becoming one with joy and all of her virtues and all of the ease all of the ease to prioritize taking time for us sometimes that can be difficult what's getting in the way we're going to be letting archaea joy come in and do the emotional mental or energetic detangling so it's easy for us to prioritize the lighter side this week and to go with the flow okay so when you're ready closing your eyes placing your hands on your lap with palms facing upwards In some easy breaths, breathing through the nose. Breathing in this brand new moment, even if you're watching this in the evening. Breathing out and letting go. light, calling light into your body, breathing out into gratitude, gratitude for the angels, gratitude that they come forward and give us the support week after week, on purpose messages to help us to get the best of the ascension energies, the best of our life experience and to receive this angelic resonance that brings so much blessings. Feeling into the part of your body that's most at ease at this time. Where would that be? as you bring awareness to this area, it begins to expand. That sense of comfort and peace going upwards, downwards, around your body. Breathing into it. Allowing it to expand. Until that sense of ease encapsulates your whole body. And there is this pulse, this radiant energy that begins to vibrate all around you. And this is an attractive vibration that brings in the presence of our angels. And in particular, we invite in our Kea Joy. Breathing her in, drawing her closer. We also invite in Archangel 
Azrael, angel of beginnings and endings. Help us to end any cycles of unforgiveness, density, rigidity, so that we can more easily go with the flow and allow for moments, minutes, hours of fun, relaxation, pleasure and play. And lastly, we call forward and invite Archaea Grace with her bright auburn and gold and red colors like the color of autumn she comes in breathing deeply now and we are now in the presence of grace joy and azrael and they are holding the space high creating what, what looks like a golden sparkling vortex of energy and it's right in front of you. Please sense that large ball of vibrant golden light and it's stretching itself until it is the size of your auric field. And the angels are inviting you to step within this high vibrational radiant resonant vortex of energy. Let's do that now, stepping within. Breathing into the gold, this liquid gold energy, imagining that it's filling your body. Filling you up like water fills a cup. And when there's no space to occupy that's left, it flows out into your auric field. So that you are merging, you're becoming the vortex itself. Letting go of your body, letting go of the mind, letting go of anything that holds you in duality, that holds you in a matrix experience, letting it go. Simply becoming this golden light. We're going to hold this resonant energy for at least a few minutes. And so please just relax. Enjoy the sense of radiating as the angelic light itself. Tiny but vibrant galactic fairies begin to come in, bringing their joy, bringing their fun and laughter, swirling around you. You can't help but feel their fun. Breathing in. And being only this golden light, sense your form beginning to take the form of a fairy with large gossamer reflective wings. 
Imagine yourself as a fairy and allow yourself to fly with these universal uplifters. Swirling, dancing. Feeling all worries and concerns. Not part of you now is melted away. Here you are free. Stop dancing. And before you leave this space of angelic fairy energy, just take a moment to breathe it in, to gather it up so that it's held with it tap back into it at any point during the week, expand the energy, step into it, put on your wings and dance, just let go, let go of anything in that moment that perhaps was denser than this feeling. And then when you're ready, Finding yourself back in your human form, stepping out of the vortex. Azrael, joy and grace, just placing their hands around your auric field, smoothing it down, releasing everything residual, and bringing their energy into your field so that you're going to feel fantastic for the rest of this day, hopefully your week. Taking a big breath in, and upon your exhale, feeling yourself here, opening your eyes. Did not know at the start of this clip would be dancing like galactic fairies. <laughs> there you go, that's just testament of what happens, the joy that happens when you invite in Archaea Joy, she's just incredible. Hope you enjoyed that friends have a blessed week we'll see you here again next monday if you have any questions about angel congress or he angel healing the live stream day event please get in touch and uh, if you enjoyed this video and got value from it please share it in your facebook groups on your timeline on your pages so much love until next time rise and become infinite you, we are the ones that we've been waiting for. So much love.